Welcome back to Speed Reels. Today, I will show you a 2021 crime, horror, thriller, movie titled Army of the Dead. A US military convoy was transporting a shipment that contained an unknown creature, when it unfortunately had an accident with another car. The accident made the creature, which turned out to be a zombie, escape from the container it had been kept in. The zombie then attacked all the soldiers, killing them and infecting two of them, who became zombies too, before heading into the city of Las Vegas. Some people fought and killed the zombies and helped to rescue some other people from the zombies. The government then quarantined the whole city and walled it, blocking off all the exits from the city after a failed military intervention. Scott Ward, one of the zombie fighters, while working, hears a news report about the government planning to drop a nuclear bomb on the zombie-filled city. Soon, he was approached by Bly Tanaka, a billionaire who told him about a vault in Las Vegas, where he had $200 million. He wants Scott along with whoever he chooses to work with him, to help him get his money, and take $50 million before the nuclear strike that the government was planning. He then asks Scott to think of it over the night before giving him an answer. However, he drops the blueprint of the vault with Scott, with the expectation that Scott would agree to his request. Kate, who is Scott's daughter but hates him works as a volunteer at a quarantine center just outside Las Vegas. Her friend, Gita, whom she helped take care of her kids, called her and told her to look after her kids should anything happen to her. Kate asked her what could happen, and she revealed that with the help of a lady called Coyote, whose name is actually Lily, she was going into Las Vegas to get some money for her kids and herself by cracking a slot machine. Kate advises her not to go but she insists it would help her and her kids get out of the quarantine camp. As they argued, a security officer from the camp approached them and asked them questions, to which Kate responded rudely. This got him angry and he used his thermometer to measure their temperatures to check if they were infected. He then threatened them and left and Gita scolded Kate for her actions. Scott dreamed about the day he came home and found out his wife was infected, and had to kill her with his daughter watching. It made him sad and he eventually called Tanaka to tell him of his readiness to take the offer. Tanaka then asks him to gather his team, and informs him that he'll need a safe cracker and a helicopter pilot. Scott went ahead and recruited his former teammates in the fight against zombies, Maria Cruz and Van der Rohe, to whom he promised to give $15 million dollars each. He also recruited a helicopter pilot, Peters, with the promise of $2 million, a sharpshooter called Guzman, with the promise of $500,000, and a safecracker called Dieter, with the promise of $200,000. The whole crew then went to meet with Tanaka, with Guzman bringing two of his friends Damon and Chambers, whom he said he was going to pay from his own cut. Tanaka then explains the mission to them. They were going into Las Vegas to get his money from the vault in his casino 32 hours before the nuclear strike. He also informed them of a helicopter on the roof of the casino that would be their transportation out of the city. Damon, on hearing that the whole plan had to do with zombies became scared and backed out. Martin, the head of Tanaka's security, however informed them that he would be accompanying them in the journey. Tanaka then asked Scott if he had found a way for them to get inside the city, and Scott said yes as he had his daughter in mind. Scott went to meet Kate at the quarantine camp, and he pleaded with her to help him because she hated him. He promised her $15 million if she agreed to help him and the other team members enter the city through the quarantine camp. That same night, Gita and two other ladies, approached the coyote to help them get into the city. The next morning, Kate brought a bus from the camp and came to meet the team as she had later agreed with her dad. They entered the bus and headed back to the quarantine camp. Inside the bus, Martin tries to connect with Chambers but she rejects his advances, claiming she doesn't trust anyone. They got through the quarantine camp gates undetected and Kate introduced Lily to them. However, Kate discovers that Gita had entered into the city and therefore insisted on following the team into the city against the advice of Scott. Lily informs the team that they would need an extra person, and she therefore lures Cummings, the security guard who had threatened Kate and Gita some days earlier by promising him $20,000. Lily then leads the team into the city with Scott trying to convince Kate for the last time. The team advanced into the city, with everyone on their guard, as they did not know what to expect. While in the city, as they got to the place where the military made their last stand, they heard a strange sound and they all ran into hiding. It turned out that the sound was being made by a zombie tiger that was roaming the city, which then turned away. Lily then deceives Cummings into collecting his gun, and shot him in the leg. She had done this because there was a group of alpha zombies in the city that always required a sacrifice. These alpha zombies were faster, smarter, and always organized. Lily had chosen Cummings because he had always lorded his power over the women in the camp and even abused some. Soon, the queen of the alpha zombies and an alpha zombie came and dragged Cummings to their shelter, which was in a place called Olympus. The team then proceeded with their mission, with Lily advising that even though they had given Cummings to the alpha zombies, they still needed to avoid them so they should go through the indoors. Unknown to them, 
The king of the alpha zombies was observing them from a very high place. The team proceeded indoors and encountered sleeping zombies, which Lily advised them not to wake by touching or shining light into their eyes. Scott then decides to mark the path using glow sticks for all of them and they proceeded one by one, with Chambers opting to be the last person instead of Martin, because she was suspicious of the reason he followed them. Meanwhile, at the Olympus, the alpha zombie king converted Cummings into an alpha zombie. As the team continued moving, Martin diverts Chambers' path by throwing one of the glow sticks to another place, which eventually led to her hitting one of the zombies and waking it up. She quickly killed it, but the zombies started waking up one by one and she was rushing to kill them. She eventually killed all the zombies that had woken and continued her movements. However, the hand of one of the zombies she had killed dragged some steel plates down to the floor and woke all the zombies. The team had to start shooting at all the zombies and rush to escape from the place. However, Martin locked Cummings in one of the rooms and soon the zombies overpowered and bit her. Guzman asked Martin about Cummings, and he denied having anything to do with her disappearance. Soon, Cummings crashes out through a glass window with many zombies around her. She tells Guzman to run, but before running, Guzman shoots the gas tank on her back blowing her and the zombies up. The team then continued on their mission and soon came to Tanaka's casino. Kate asked Lily if it was possible that Gita was still alive, and Lily told her of a guy she once brought in and left thinking he was dead, only for him to appear three days later unharmed and this gave hope to Kate. The crew then discovers another blueprint of the vault in the casino, which made them know that Tanaka had sent a team earlier but Martin denied knowing about it. Scott then instructed the team members to carry out some duties. He told Cruz to follow Peters to the roof so she could get the helicopter working. Martin suggested that he and Lily would keep watch outside the casino. Scott then told Van der Rohe and Dieter to go and start working on the vault while he and Kate went to switch the generator on. While Scott is filling the generator with gas, Kate reveals that she hated him not because he killed her mother which she understood because she was already a zombie, but because he did not console her and was never there for her. Kate reveals that she had a deep hatred for Scott and it would be difficult for her to forgive him easily. Meanwhile, Martin and Lily had different plans. They actually wanted to lower the queen of the alpha zombies. Lily shot her gun into the air and soon, the queen appeared with an alpha zombie. They then captured the queen and killed the alpha zombie, but the gunshots had alerted the alpha zombie king who was in Olympus, and had wanted to kill one of Gita and her two friends. However, Martin beheads the queen and puts the head in a bag revealing to Lily that the head of the queen was of huge value to Tanaka and the government, as they could create a controllable zombie army with it. Back at the vault, Van der Rohe and Dieter used a zombie to offset the trap set to keep thieves away from the vault. The zombie was shot with darts, then heavy guns, and finally smashed between two walls after which Dieter then proceeded to open the vault. However, the team discovers from a news report that the nuclear strike time had been brought forward and the team had just an hour and 20 minutes to escape. Dieter opens the vault and the team begins to pack the money into bags preparing to exit the place. However, the alpha zombie king had discovered the queen's body and taken it to Olympus. It was then discovered that the queen was pregnant and that the fetus had died. Out of rage, the king commanded all the alpha zombies to head to the casino to kill the team. As the team was preparing to move, Maria Cruz revealed to Scott that she had not followed him because of the money but because she liked him and felt they could have something together. Scott, on the other hand discovers Kate's disappearance and immediately understands where she had gone. He told Maria that he was going to bring his daughter back and she insisted on going with him. However, as soon as the door of the elevator opened, alpha zombies rushed in and one twisted Maria's neck and killed her. The alpha zombies then started attacking the team. The team shot at them and killed some, while others were either too fast or too smart. As Martin, Lily, and Guzman tried to escape, Martin came out first, then locked the remaining inside claiming that Tanaka never cared about the money but the head of the alpha zombie queen in his bag. In the vault room, Van der Rohe and Dieter battled with the alpha zombies, killing them until the king arrived. The king was smart and he had used an iron mask that deflected the bullets without killing him. As their guns ran out of bullets, Van der Rohe tried to wrestle with the king but the king defeated him as the king was faster and stronger. As the king was about to bite Van der Rohe, Dieter hit him and quickly locked Van der Rohe in the vault, sacrificing himself in the process as the king attacked him. As Martin continued on his escape, he discovered that the bag he carried no longer contained the queen's head, as Lily had swapped the bag contents. However, he was immediately attacked by the zombie tiger which eventually killed him. Scott, Guzman, and Lily then tried to run to an elevator that would get them to the casino's roof but were attacked by the alpha zombies. They struggled and killed most of the zombies but Guzman ended up being bitten by one of the zombies. As a result, he triggered the grenade with him, killing him and countless zombies as Scott and Lily escaped to the casino's roof. While they waited for Peters to get the helicopter working, 
the alpha zombie king came to the roof. Lily then told Scott and Peters to go without her, distracting the king with the head of the queen she had stolen from Martin. The king threw an iron rod at Lily, pinning her to the wall to be able to get the queen's head from her. However, Lily threw the head down from the roof to the ground and smashed it. This made the king angry and he bit her. Scott then told Peters to stop on the roof of the Olympus as he wanted to get Kate. He then begged her not to abandon him as he went searching for Kate. Kate had found Gita and one of her friends, and they tried to escape from the Olympus but Cummings who was now an alpha zombie, attacked them and bit Gita's friend, with Kate eventually shooting and killing him in the process. Scott, who was looking for Kate heard the gunshot and started running towards them. However, as soon as Kate had killed Cummings, the alpha zombie king arrived with some alpha zombies and he directed them to kill Kate and Gita. Kate shot and killed all the alpha zombies, but ran out of bullets as the king approached them. Scott however comes to their rescue at the right moment and shoots a grenade at the king, buying them time to run to the roof to escape. As they got to the roof, they found it empty and thought Peters had abandoned them. However, Peters came back and claimed she had a change of mind. Just as the helicopter was leaving, the king arrived and jumped into the helicopter battling with Scott. Scott then tried to shoot the king but ended up shooting Peters instead, with her blood splashing on the helicopter's screen. The king tried to overpower Scott and broke his arm. As Peters wiped her blood off the screen, they saw the nuclear strike nuke heading towards the city. Kate then smashed the king's head with a fire extinguisher giving Scott enough time to get his gun, but the king grabs him and bites him. However, the intense light from the nuclear strike that had hit the city blinded the king, temporarily giving Scott enough time to shoot and kill him. The shockwave from the nuclear strike however crashed the helicopter, killing Peters and Gita. Kate survived and found Scott who gives her some money to start a new life, before turning into a zombie. Kate then sadly killed him and cried as a rescue helicopter arrived. Sometime later, Van der Rohe exited the vault with the remaining money. He then found a car and drove to Utah, where he rented a private plane to take him to Mexico City. On the flight, he felt sick and soon discovered that he had been bitten. Make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications for more videos like this.